The gate was to shield any passers-by from noticing any fishy activity inside this compound at Old Jororok, Nyandarwa County. Acting on a tip-off, police trailed the white lorry suspected to be shipping flour for resale. Inside the compound, police recovered the bales of flour carefully hidden inside the storage room at the compound. 300 bales of unga were found and materials believed to be used to repackage the subsidized unga. Unajua kwamba unga yenyewe haiko. Ikipatikana wananchi wananunua. Haraka sana inaisha. Na sasa hii inaweza kanaje kuletwa kwa boma la mtu na kuwekwa kwa boma la mtu. Three men were arrested. A middle-aged man, the driver, and his tan boy. The three would offload the subsidized flour, then repackage into nylon bags to be resold at 70 shillings in two supermarkets in Nyahururu and Ol Kalao, owned by one of the men arrested, identified as Elijah Njoroge Karanja. Supermarket kama hizo na wanabiashara kama hao wanatakikana wachukuliwa hatua kubwa sana. Na lori hili tutajilichukua. Last month, in a bid to curb resale of the state subsidized maize flour, National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich gazetted new rules indicating that those found culpable to pay a fine of 1 million shillings or a jail term of five years. The government has issued a directive to the National Cereals and Produce Board to only sell maize to those verified by local administration to curb unscrupulous buyers. Masi Kandia Tanui, Monday Special.